G'day everyone. Um, I'm just going to share you two filaments that I've recently purchased. They're an Aurorum filament and I'm really quite pleased with them so I thought I'd uh, put it out there. Uh, I recently just received three filaments from them um, but the two that I was really interested in getting was a TPU filament, a flexible which I've never ever tried and a, um, a carbon fibre filament. Um, and that's PLA carbon fiber. Uh, I occasionally buy stuff from Aurorum because for Australia they're really quite cheap for a supplier for filament and if you purchase over $100 of postage is free which can bring down your price of filament quite a bit. Um, so the TPU and the carbon fiber I was looking for a project to do and I picked a, a spinner from Thingiverse um, just because I had a bearing, some bearings delivered today and I wanted something quick and easy to do and that seemed to be a good little project. So here is the two spinners. This is the TPU spinner and this is the carbon fibre. We'll talk about that one first up. Um, just a hint, if you are going to do a spinner, I'd suggest actually soaking the bearings in methylated spirits to take the oils out of the bearings. Um, it drops the roll resistance down. The oils are good for the life of the bearings, but if you're after low roll resistance, then you want that oil not to be there. Um, and as you can see, they're quite uh, low friction. So the carbon fibre PLA I just printed with standard uh, stock settings on my Wanhao i3 duplicator and it came out absolutely awesome. I love this matte finish. So I printed at 210, 60 degree bed, 60 millimetres a second, for shells, for tops, for bottoms and it came out great. Really impressed with it and it's stiff, like won't flex. It's it's hard as. Um, I don't know what would happen if you did break it because it's so stiff I'd expect it would be quite brittle um, but that's only a suspicion just on the on the stiffness of it. The TPU uh, from what I was reading TPU seemed like an easier filament to print with at least as a first off shot. I like the fact that it was more abrasive and chemical resistant um, and also the fact that it's just that slightly bit stiffer, I've heard that it would be easy to print with. Um, and it came out really quite good. It's nice and flexy. Um, it's, it's good. It, it's got a good memory. It comes back. The only thing that I would say is when I printed it, and let's see if we can show this. See the little nerds on the inside? That's the, uh, the retracts. Now, I printed this quite quickly. I did start printing it with just a standard uh, speed, uh, which is 60 millimeters a second that I print at. Um, and I was printing at 230, which is the maximum recommended temperature. I figured a higher nozzle temperature would mean probably a quicker speed on the print. Um, and I was getting a slight bit of under extrusion. So I dropped it down to 70% of the 60, which if my mass is correct, would be 36 millimeters a second. And I increased the extrusion by 10%. And that seemed to give me a nice finish that you can see there. Uh, you can see the underside there, that little bit of under extrusion. Um, but the sides came out great. Um, I will say I probably needed to bring the bed closer compared to uh, the carbon fiber but I'm really happy with it um, and the amazing thing is I, th I thought that I would need to do some modifications to my extruder to allow to print flexibles because there's quite a big gap between the extruder gear and the extruder in the Wanhao which is a Mark 10 extruder um, but to my surprise, I was able to feed it in and it came out the nozzle. So I thought, what the hell, I'll give it a shot. Um, I am running a Microsys all-metal hot end because I do like printing nylons. So I don't know if that had an impact to it, but I was really impressed. So I can really recommend the Aurorum carbon fiber and also the uh, TPU. Um, so I hope you found that inf informative. Um, 
If you want to, give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, subscribe, any of those stuff. It's all helpful. Uh, and yeah, hope it was interesting. Thanks. See ya. <laughs>